I'm pulling that one out on you now. <laughs> I do have a lot of stuns. Uh, this could be the issue because they have no mana burn for this Raid King. <gasps> oh. Sniper! <laughs> The sniper comes out from LGD. It's going to be a Somna sniper. Three, that's right. We're out of the group stages and into the playoffs here for ESL1 Birmingham 2019 as LGD take on Vici Gaming China versus China. And already LGD smoked up as five. Look at this long loop around into the dire jungle and they're going to find the Razor. Immediate stun from Arme. Follow through with a nice little swashbuckle. Chalice trying to close the gap for the stomp. He's not going to get it. Doesn't need it because they've got the shackles. So now Chalice can be very thankful. He can go for that retaliate. Yeah, it was smoke and smoke action, but the <laughs> Razor was left alone. Zeus has that uh, lightning bolt. We'll scout things out, see if there's uh, any observer wards on mid. Look at that Radiant Observer Ward. They go in deep, they get the kill, and they place a ward down kind of in between that tier two, tier three area. Because they want to creep skip with the, with the centaur, I assume. Or at the very least drag back, right? Oh, they, they actually want to see how they're setting up the lanes. That's why, because oh. they don't want to have Razor against Sven. Looks like it's going to be that way. Mid lane, it will be the Ori DP. Paparazzi is going to make that swap down towards bottom as we watch the Nyx Assassin move over towards X Nova. Give him what for? Get out of my lane. Get off my jungle. And we're also seeing some big lane swaps from LGD, putting Sven down bottom, moving the Centaur up towards top. As, <laughs> oh my goodness. Just go watch Paparazzi, please. Look at him. No, he's in the mid lane between tier one, tier two. <laughs> Oh, man, he's gone down bottom. So, yeah. The Razor is it's, it's AFK. He's waiting. He's pulling Internal Envy. He's going top now. He's been spotted, though. Like, meanwhile, on the bottom lane, Zeus is getting some XP, but now he'll get harassed by Shadow Shaman and the uh, Raid King just deep it back bottom. Razor still AFK, missing in action. Saving Private Razor. He's walked himself back up top. At the very least, it's not a bad lane for him against the Centaur. It's not, but Should be. ideally he would want to be against Sven, take away his farm, because this is the hero that is so snowbally. Sven is actually TPing top. They are now troilating. They want to kill Paparazzi. They want to tilt the Razor off the face of the map. Quick Storm Hammer comes in. Stun will stop Chalice from following through. FY with the body blocks a little bit there, unable to catch the Razor, but that's going to really piss him off. Burning through all the regen, and we're going to have Chalice TP down bottom. And we know that Razor does well against Sven in lane, but if Sven has a massive advantage and is able to kill off the Razor you know, once or twice, it shuts him down. And Razor is TPing back bottom. Well, Sven got the first blood, so he has boots of speed. Maybe that's the reason why they decided to do this, because he has the extra movement speed to break the static link. That's a good shout. So they try and keep him down bottom, the Razor against that Centaur. Four people, six people bottom. Shackles on to Paparazzi. Chalice going for the big hits, and FY has made the rotation. X Nova survives through Fade and Yang's damage, and they're going to go and look for more. Oh, this Zeus, body blocked up, slowed by the Orb of Venom, and right-clicked into Oblivion. LGD, three to the good, two minutes in already. This is looking sick for them. Godlike start for FY. Double kill involved in all of three kills, actually. He's going to buy that Javelin. Pretty quickly, double damage. Shadow Shaman, he wants the... Seems like he wants the suicide, but the 10 extra seconds are added to that timer. Also, Razor, he needs to go back. Like, he, <laughs> And they can see him. They can scout it out with this Observer Ward. Razor needs to go back where? Well, we'll come back to that in a second. Chalice, very nice stomp on the very edge. Does catch both of those aggressive heroes. Does Razor go back where? Like to Fountain? He's been, like you say, spotted all the way up towards top as the Zeus of Fade, caught by the DD Pango, and Chalice finishes him off. Vici Gaming falling apart a little bit here in the laning stage as LGD seem to have their number. And of course, in that mid lane, it is pretty even. Oh, Paparazzi. X Nova's made a move up top. And DY does have a stun. Doesn't have time to get it off, though. And this is so much pressure on a Razor who is currently two and one in that CS. You can see how aggressive LGD plays. They had two creep waves pushing into them, and they still decide to go for a Razor on the top lane, harass him a little bit. And this Razor is not having a good time. Razor against Sven, huh? Razor, <laughs> Razor favored. 
Dear Lord, this has been a rough start to Vici Gaming. A bit of a static link does come out, but LGD, they're going to be ready to go for round two in a couple of seconds. Already forcing DY back behind the trees. X Nova has one stick charge, not enough mana for anything apart from an ether shock off the back of it. But a missed stun from the Nyx Assassin will surely put a close to any aggression VG Gaming had up their sleeve. Well, the upside here for VG though is they still are CSing reasonably well. Wraith King, Death Prophet, uh, Nyx Assassin, apparently the position five Nyx with 10 and three is farming away. Oh, does, does FY consider buying Bottle? Does he just want the, ja want the Javelin? It's so, so tempting. He would buy Bottle if he was uh, lower HP mm. and then use six charges to replenish mana and HP. With that case, sniper attack looks so weird. It looks like the old Desolator effect in Dota 1. Disarmed. They can finish him off with the Shrapnels as well. FY with that haste rune makes it five to one. Kills in every single lane now for FY as he bounces around on that Pangolier Chalice. Stun does get cancelled immediately, but Zeus is being pummeled into the ground. Two more hits is all it'll take. Chalice will swipe down with great vengeance. Zeus, unfortunately, now six feet under. You don't want to harass Centaur in the laning stage. You're giving him these retaliate charges, which means the free damage, and it could easily backfire. Just don't touch him, unless you have some kind of a spell damage. Triple Wraith Band Sniper already up. This is where Death Prophet's really going to struggle in this lane. A hero that doesn't come back in terms of farming jungle or anything like that needs to play the lane for the most part in that first 10 minutes or so. Sniper very good at CSing, very good at harassing, oh, but also very good at with defending that towers. In Gary. Oh, is it ready? With boots as well, hey? Oh, is that... That's Sniper's boots. Okay. <laughs> I was like, how does he have Javelin and boots? But here we... Oh my god! Where did the DP go? Shadow Shaman comes in from the north. I don't think it even mattered, but FY's on a killing spree. <laughs> the old chat very, very well deserved, I think. You do not want to give this player such a great start. Pangolier FY God has almost enough to buy Boots of Speed six minutes in with only three last hits. I don't like asking for this before 10 minutes, but can we see net worth just for a quick, quick couple of seconds? FY 2000, barely behind the DP. Four heroes in the top six or seven there for LGD. My goodness, what a cracking start. Chalice not really being pressured down bottom either. Does give Yang complete free farm for the most part uh, outside of that. And Zeus is FY. His arrival might secure the end of Yang now. That Javelin going to work, but Zeus also dishing the damage back and 404 gold go his way. Chalice with a stampede, looks for the kill, but a swift TP out. We'll make sure that Zeus is safe. That early phase boots pick up on Centaur, giving him so much chase potential and extra damage. Also armor in the lane against the Raid King. But once he pops that retaliate, what are you pointing at, Gary? Mana burn on Nyx Assassin at level four. I've not seen this in a long while. He's actually gone 2-1-1 as the Stormhammer comes out, catches both. Carapace was there, but... Shackles cancelled out by a nice impale, and DY looking to turn with Paparazzi onto X Nova, but hey, who's here? here? It's FY, Pango's ready to come and play, does get a bit of a body block, beautiful little stutter step there to get in front between the hits, onto Nyx, and down he goes. Another kill racked up on the tally for LGD. I gotta say, FY is playing uh, really good right now, but he's also being uh, a bit lucky every single time he procs a disarm, a slow, and minus extra armor. Just a little bit with his lucky shot. Guess, Death Prophet, are you roaming now? I guess that's why it's called lucky shot, huh? Yeah. DP has given up on mid lane for a little bit. To go back to Nyx Assassin and Mana Burn, uh, it's common, especially, we saw it in the previous series, where, or, or the first one, where Nyx Assassin wanted to grab a kill, his stun got level two, had Mana Burn skilled on level two, just to finish him off, mm. gets the first blood. Also, if you're playing against the uh, some of the heroes who have a high intelligence in the laning stage, Shadow Shaman, good example. You want to burn his mana. And this is where Vici Gaming really want to turn the tables. They may be a little bit demoralized, but they're looking to find an avenue towards this kill on Chalice. Ori does pop the exorcism and the spirit siphon. They've got DY. Three seconds. For this ulti. And a nice couple of stuns means Chalice falls under that. Creep wave behind his tier one. FY looking to defend the tower potentially and try and 
maybe cut the wave, but he gives up, realizing that three heroes against one, not really a fair fight for him. A lot of ghosts, a lot of uh, skeletons on bottom, pretty much the undead army. This is the undead army from Lord of the Rings. If Aghanim Scepter is built up on the uh, Raid King, uncontrollable, they only need... Uh, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones? Yeah. Bruce Lord Campbell's of Army of Darkness? <laughs> I mean, Sniper has a boomstick. If anyone gets that reference, please tweet at me. There's lots of nasty stuff from Vici Gaming. The trouble is, their Razor has been found by Chalice's rotation. Arme with that first god strength pops him out. I just want to come back to that mid lane because they put the Zeus there to try and leech experience and maybe hold out the wave. So difficult against Sniper who has Shrapnel to scout both of the tree lines and push into that tower without putting himself in any danger. Fade is not having a good game. Even though he's high level, almost level six before 10 minute mark, all the supports actually in the game are extremely high leveled. Nyx Assassin level six already, that's the position five Nyx. Because of the lane swapping that they did at start. And now Ame, with that God Strength, Mask of Madness, they have enough, more than enough damage to, and sustain to bring out the tier one tower on top. Nice catch down bottom, DP and Nyx. Getting Ori involved in tier one take, a couple of kills and putting this DP on the map at long last. 11 to 4, 3,000 lead for LGD. Still looks pretty good for them as Bounty Runes gathered up. Two for two across the map. It's still very, very obvious though that the core items for these two primary cores on LGD, the Sven and the Sniper, are going to be coming through very quickly. Mask of Madness is nearly done on top of the Treads Wraith Bands. And DY, he's got to be careful sticking around here, even just to leech a bit of experience. Ex Nova's presence, most certainly. I'll make him a little bit shy to show on that lane. They need to pressure this mid tower. Shadow Shaman, he's level four. Is there a tome coming to him? Yes, there is. They want to put the wards down and uh, kill this tower. That's a stampede to escape from Chalice. Paparazzi was trying for it, and they do get DY in the mid lane. In comes FY. Serpent wards plonked down for the tier one tower. Take. Or he's going to try and deal with them as best he can, but they've got the Pango rolling in. And where's the follow through? Shrapnel's there, looking for the slow. The second rolling boulder will connect. Connects onto Yang as well towards that left hand side twice, in fact. But the rest of LGD have retreated, not wanting to commit too deep. God strength popped on bottom with the Siege Creep. LGD is playing this game perfectly. All the timings are there. They just took the tier one tower on mid. Shadow Shaman hit level six with the Siege Creep. This is being pinged out. Yeah, Army, uh, Army got, what, three, four waves down bottom freely, got some pressure onto that tier one. And it just feels like Vici Gaming have to chain smoke. Yeah, they're going to go for it. Unfortunately for them, scouted by yeah. that Radiant Obs Ward. And DY leading the charge with Yang and Ori in tow. Ex Nova, the position five Shadow Shaman might just be the casualty of war here. As DY is looking for a bigger target, the Sniper does get found. Stunned up, Thunder God's Wrath is there to burst him down to half HP, but Ori can't close the gap, and Arme's arrival will seal the deal onto that poor, poor Nyx Assassin as he wards up the camp to block it and to give a little bit of vision. Dude, I mean, you want to get higher value kill, but they should just grab Shadow Shaman and go back instead because you're diving near tier two tower, they're gonna get extra armor, pretty hard to take down, and the DP, did she have haste before, or did she just bottle it up? I didn't see. I, I would believe she just bottled it up. 26 seconds since the yeah, even rune sense. spawned. And he's going for that Agadim Scepter straight away. Speaking of item progression, this Razor picked up a Hand of Midas. Paparazzi seems to it's, have... It's justified in this situation because he had no points in Unstable Current. He just got two. So he needs some no, kind of a farming ability to yeah. come back into the game. Usually, if Razor is not having a good time, he goes back to the lane with Unstable Karn, can farm multiple camps at the time. Scan will connect, they know something is up. It's a very conscious decision knowing that this Sven is farming out of his mind and Razor most certainly needs some way to keep up. Aggression into the dire jungle here from LGD. Yeah, but they should be careful about it. Death Prophet, a bit limited on mana, but with that haste and exorcism ready, they could turn things around. They certainly can, if they can get another good smoke out to maybe come into their own jungle. But systematically now, LGD are just taking down these towers. They jump the sniper, try and catch. Mana burns there, but the damage doesn't. 
clear him up. And from the back, we've got Ame arriving, FY rolling through. They do catch the Sven with a couple of good stuns, but again, they are lacking damage. Fade gets popped, nearly gets peeped, but in comes the Exorcism. Ghosts are here for Ori, looking for Ame, who is cleaving through this Vici gaming side, but with a carapace from DY, he falls flat on his face. Two, three, quick kills from Vici gaming, and they're looking for four. Sniper trying to defend his buddy, FY does swashbuckle back to safety. Paparazzi don't die to the shrapnel, he'll be taken out by that assassinate. But still a very, very excellent trade there for Vichy Gaming. Yeah, that haste rune did one hell of a job uh, with that exorcism. It was only level 1, but still deals a ton of damage. You want to get DP to level 12 because uh, it goes from 8 ghosts to 16. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at math, but that's double. Damn. Three. <laughs> Where did the three gold come from? Maybe EG lent it to them. Vichy Gaming now back out on the map. Ori about halfway towards his Aghanim Scepter. And honestly, DY has had a reasonably good game already with Urn, Brown Boots. This technically position 5 Nyx Assassin with the CS he got early on has actually enabled him to get up to level 8 reasonably quickly as well. So he has the extra points in that carapace. Arme down bottom. Will you be shoving into that tier 1 with the backing of three teammates? Vichy Gaming very wisely not going to be defending their bottom lane. Not something they care particularly about when bounty runs are spawning up north. And Yang decided to go for a hand of Midas as well. So two Midases on VG Gaming side. They will manage to come back into the ga this game even though it's a 4k gold lead already for LGD. And we saw him going for Aghanim Scepter after a Blink Dagger, but uh, it feels like in this game he needs the tank up. Against the Sven, against the Sniper, right-click damage, so Crimson Guard, a natural progression. It sure is. The idea now for Vici Gaming is to collapse onto as many Tier 1s, as many objectives as they can. And the gold is flowing in here for LGD as they have pretty much destroyed the Outer Towers on that dire side of the map, and they're looking to, to defend their top Tier 1. Ex Nova trying to set up here. He's a shock to clear the creep wave. He's baiting them in as Chalice TP silenced immediately. And Paparazzi moves forward with a static link, but there's the Stampede. Fade will try and blow them up, but the Rolling Thunder, FY's arrival, will look to secure the kill on Paparazzi, but he survived somehow. He's alive, but now he's died. FY, with that big swashbuckle, will take him out, and Arne wants to hunt for more. Yang, with no reincarnation here, is being hunted. Will they find him? In through the trees, but look at that, beautifully lined up by FY. The Vector targeting God gets himself a double kill. They got the tower, but uh, still really not worth it for Vici Gaming. They need to be careful about uh, their positioning. Also, DP... Whoa. It's a five-man team wipe! DP didn't die. She died? <laughs> All right. Why does it have a death thing on it? Yeah. I mean, she didn't die. I'm pretty sure that she did not die in that fight because look, look at her mana. Like, she couldn't spend a thousand mana from the previous fight. Interesting, huh? <laughs> very, very interesting. Yeah, I, I thought I'd gone nuts. I could like, Dota you, Plus so they can lie usually, to me. Usually I'm very good at calling five-man wipes. I usually notice it. I was like, hang on a second. Do I, have I lost it? Anyway, DY pings out an arcane rune, which is gorgeous for the Death Prophet. Bottling it up and Ori ready with that level two exorcism that you were calling for. So she should be ready and raring to go potentially for that mid tier one as both teams will start looking to prep for Roshan. They have a little bit of issue on side of Vichy Gaming because they're not shoving out the waves quickly. Razor is pretty much the only one. They could use skeletons as well every time he gets a couple of charges. Use it. Zeus can't afford to be in the lanes pushing out waves and that's a full Aghanim Scepter finished on DP. Raid King has reincarnation ready. They should clear out the waves and uh, then try to go for a for a gank. Ex Nova? Uh, do they have an additional hero? They do. It's Arme. They've got the chain disables from the Shadow Shaman, even throwing the Serpent Wards in there and the God Strength. Paparazzi, usually a very stoic, stable player, feels like he's grasping at straws in this game, losing a lot of life here. Is that Razor dead once more? 
And Next Assassin has a really nice ability to stun a Centaur if he wants to initiate on him. Hit from Vendetta, then hit him, and then return damage. So he's gonna stun himself, actually. Chalice will be forced to stampede away as X Nova and FY looking for the rebuttal. Nice long range assassinate from Somnus. Takes down that pesky Nyx and Exorcism expended there for no real great gains. This could very well be LGD looking towards Roshan in the coming minutes once that God Strength and Serpent Wards come back up. But initially, they'll go for the tier two mid. FY even. Going in to cut the wave. Oh, there you are. Okay, I thought maybe for a second he'd go and look up towards the creep camps, where in fact Ori's DP was standing. He's so farmed. He's almost as farmed as Razor. About to finish his Guardian Greaves in a thousand gold. Yeah, and you think about where some of that money is sunk for the Razor. That's a solid 2k gold out of the 6.5k he's got in that hand of Midas. Going straight towards the BKB, knowing that one fight here for VG Gaming could actually turn the tides of battle. FY's illusion, DY baited. Just a touch, throws his mana burn in there for good measure as well. Unfortunately, it was more than just an illusion bait. It was a catch on to fade. Carapace does turn back onto Chalice as they focus X Nova. He is reasonably strong though, as he's got 12 stick charges and turns back. Paparazzi being peaked, and that's him gone. Ori will try and focus down the sniper. It's not looking good. This maybe Sniper just stands his ground. He's just right-clicking around. Fade up on the high ground as they Hurricane Pike back the Sniper and the jump away from FY's Pango will get him out of danger but doesn't allow him to finish off the Nyx until the Boulder Crash comes out. Finally, taking him down. Dominating streak up again for FY's Arme. He's hunted the Zeus. FY steals the kill under his nose. <laughs> if we're asking Dota, that's a full team wipe. Four out of five. They, they needed those items. DP didn't even uh, use her ulti, it looked like it, but it's only Aghanim Scepter. And now with that uh, God Strength, plus the Sniper, also Shadow Shaman Wards, Retaliate, they have so much tower damage. This has been an annihilation. 20 minutes in, Tier 3 is falling. Long gone the days of those long drawn out Chinese Dota games. They are playing fast, they are playing aggressively. Vici Gaming, unfortunately for them, on the wrong end of the stick. Now moving towards Sniper. If they can chain stun them up, they can't. What LGD can do though is completely negate and stop that initiation. Unfortunately, That's Arme, a big uh, kill. They can Thomas turn this into out. Roche. 600 gold going the way of Ori. Well, they can't turn this into Roche because they have a siege creep in their base still plus a board. So. They do kill a Sniper, but they've lost their ranged barracks. And that's a streak reset from Sniper as well. It's all good for him. Because they died the way too many times, the timings on their items is not there. Like, ideally, you would want to have this Crimson Guard on Raid King, Aghanim Scepter on Zeus, but way too many deaths. Also, Razor would love to have a BKB, and uh, if they get those items, I still feel that VG Gaming can take a fight. It's really hard because they can't get close to the Sniper since they have a Sven, they have a Pango, they have a Centaur in your face. And they have a Sven who's incredibly farmed. Yes, you've killed the Sniper, but you have this dual core setup for LGD. God Strength is ready. Jump, hits the stun, doesn't catch the Razor in the back. There is no control to stop his TP, but they've killed off Ori. And the Stampede, are they trying to look for more? Yang is there, and X Nova, he's got it all lined up. Turns him into a chicken, shackles him up, cooped up, and Arme's arrival. Take him out with a stomp, the control is there, and Sniper's actually respawned to force that reincarnation down. No blink, of course, for this Wraith King, so he is dead twice in a row. Nice attempt at the TP. Optimistic, though. Very Serpent optimistic. Ward's up in eight seconds. They might not even need it for this barracks. They could just pop it out and go back to Roche. Yeah, Sniper has a fake Deso, so that's gonna be a lot of damage. Pseudo Deso. Is FY getting a solo kill? The Zeus is like a thousand gold away from Ags. They don't go Roche. Forget Roshan. We're going to go double lane of barracks. That's GG's it. called. Fade says it's over. I don't have my Aghanim Scepter. I'm not a hero. 23 minute victory for LGD. And an absolute stomping over VG Gaming. Very clean game from LGD. From the start, that smoke.